Hey guys, Kim Barger, Music Sam Ray back with it another video. Uh, as I said in my last video, this is the Nico Robin fan art video. The next video, which should be coming uh, within this week, will be the Boa Hancock fan art video. After that video, uh, hopefully I can create the Todoroki vs. Bakugo. Uh, if not, uh, it will be another fan art. I do actually plan on uh, doing a, basically a, a fan art for, not fan art, but uh, an OC drawing for a Super Savage 789 for a collab that he's doing with someone. So I might make a video on that and I'll explain more about the character when I make, if and when I make that video. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. If you guys have any requests, uh, art requests, animation requests, uh, anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Or uh, join my Discord and talk to me there because, as I've said in previous videos, I am more, I am pretty active on Discord. I'm on Discord pretty much every day, so... If you, and I have my notifications on for that server, so any message that goes in that server, um, I'll see the, I'll see the, uh, see it in my notifications, so, uh, if you want to speak with me on Discord, uh, go ahead, I might make a, no, a separate video talking about my Discord as a whole, and why I think you guys should join it, also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, uh, I mean, I th I'm going to try my best to start be more active on Twitter as well. Usually I just uh, occasionally go look at art, retweet it, but I'll try to be more active, um, give updates on videos and such if uh, whenever I'm on Twitter. Uh, so go ahead and follow me there. But uh, let's just uh, leave that all out of the way and let's talk about what's actually going on in this fan art video. So. As I said before, this is a Nico Rama fan art. This is Nico Rama, my own personal style. Um, like I said before, I admire One Piece a lot. As of recording this, I have not seen episode 914. I would talk about that if I could, uh, but I haven't seen it yet. And plus, um, I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, speaking of that, if you guys want me to do episode reviews of One Piece or other animes, let me know. For most animes, all you guys know, I do prefer English dub just simply because uh, I'm an English speaker. If you guys couldn't tell from every video I've commented uh, commentated on and any comment I've ever made, Discord, YouTube, or otherwise, uh, it's always been English. That's simply because that's, uh, that's my primary and only current language uh, that I speak fluently. Um, so... Just keep that in mind. That's why I prefer dub. Because I don't have to read the subtitles. Not, not saying that's necessarily an issue. It is, it is an advantage that the dub has. I've gotten used to reading subs. Because there are subs that I do watch. Like One Piece for example. Because the reason I started watching the One Piece sub. Is because I don't know if the dub's going to continue anytime soon. Uh, the dub ended on episode 574. Which is. Uh, so essentially the ending of the Fishman Island arc. Which is the first arc after after the two-year time skip that went on in One Piece. So, I just assume that if, if they're going to release a dub, it's going to take a really long time for them to do all the episodes to catch up to what's going on now, and by that time, One Piece will either be completely over, and there's a chance that it will be spoiled for me, or it will just be another 400 or so episodes in. So I decided to start watching the sub like last year, and I was able to catch up. It's not as hard to catch up as I thought. Uh, that's probably because I was well. I was starting from episode five seventy five, obviously, because I already watched every dub episode available. But speaking of One Piece, uh, since I didn't uh, talk much about it in the last video, one thing I like about One Piece is it focuses on each and every character. It makes it so every character has a role. Even those who don't fight have a significant role, either to the story or to the crew, or in some way, shape, or form. Uh, a lot of animes that uh, that have a lot of fighting 
usually revolve around fighting. For example, in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and Super, it's all about who is the strongest fighter, who is the most powerful fighter, who is the best fighter. Whoever the best fighter is will get their way. Uh, an example of this in Dragon Ball Z is Frieza. Frieza got his way for pretty much all of his life until Goku became a Super Saiyan because he was more powerful than everyone else. No one could beat him one-on-one uh, -on -one in the fight. Even teaming up, there weren't really there wasn't really anyone who could beat Frieza, um, except for the Sands because Frieza was afraid that if the Sands decided to work together, they could uh, beat Frieza. Which, to be honest, the Sands probably should have done that. Like, I'm not sure why the Sands, because the Sands are very prideful, are a very prideful race. So, I, I guess. None of them thought that's all worked together to beat Frieza. I mean, they could have at the very least beat Frieza first form, but then all Frieza would need to do is go final form. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, that's that's outside of the point. So, one example of how One Piece focuses on characters outside of the crew or gives other characters outside of Luffy a. like, makes them significant in a way. Uh, let's take the Arlong Park arc, for example. Uh, when Luffy first uh, went in to fight Arlong, there was this scene where he took a couple of swords and he just swung them around. Then um, someone commented, uh, it might have been Sanji or Zoro, just saying he was swinging around, he can't actually use the swords. Luffy then says something along the lines of, okay, I'm not good with swords, I can't cook, I can't navigate, and I can't lie. Those specific statements are you are specific. He's saying those to represent the different members of his crew. Lying refers to Usopp. That's a joke, but that's essentially what Usopp does. Um, using swords is Zoro's thing, cooking is Sanji's thing, navigating is Nami's thing. Every... That, and also that arc was all about getting um, Luffy helping Nami to uh, be free of Arlong's um, reign. The only reason Nami betrayed Luffy initially is because she wants to free her, free the island. And in order to do that, she needs to make a bunch of money. So, yeah. And also, uh, in theory, without Nami, they wouldn't be able to sail the Grand Line. Uh... Zoro's direction sucks. Luffy's direction is average, but he needs to, he still needs to be guided regardless. Also, Nami's the only one who can really handle money uh, well, other than uh, Robin. Uh, because Robin, Robin's an archaeologist, he can read poneglyphs. Everyone has a role with Luffy without these individual people. Luffy uh, wouldn't be able to uh, achieve his dream of becoming King of the Pirates, and he understands that he's acknowledged that himself. But I have taken up too much time talking about Nami specifically. I apologize. I should have probably talked more about Robin specifically because this fan art is a nom uh, is a Robin fan art. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, the next one will be Boa Hancock for One Piece, and I hope you guys enjoy.